Hi, in this video forms part of the being an intermediary subunit on the on-call to train the trainer for lay family health advisors. During this course you will gain the practical strategies to overcome barriers of health literacy for people with low health literacy. In this video we are going to identify trouble spots and talk about how to support sustainable community empowerment. Adult educators can be productive partners in reaching people with limited literacy skills. As a lay community health advisor, it is important that we address barriers that can prevent audiences from understanding and acting on vital health and safety messages. The most common barriers include 1. The use of technical or medical terminology 2. Reliance on print communication 3. Focusing on information rather than actions and 4. Limited awareness of cultural differences. One of the important barriers is also communication people who speak and understand a limited amount of language to get a complete medical history. Beyond the practical language barrier, there is often a cultural difference in how people share information. People can often be confused by the language health professionals use when they are talking with people. The use of unfamiliar medical terms can cause confusion for the patient at best or can scare the patient away. They may quickly end the session to avoid embarrassment of having to ask dumb questions. Here are some general strategies that could help you. Use plain language, use culturally and linguistically appropriate messages, design messages that are participatory and user-centered, evaluate the effectiveness of communications, engage regularly with the communities who are targeted by the communication, and consider the current literacy level of the intended audience and design messages based on that. Many factors in the current healthcare system contribute to limited health literacy such as a lack of coordination among healthcare providers, confusing forms and instructions, limited use of multimedia to convey information, insufficient time and incentives for patient education, differences in language and cultural preferences and expectations between doctors and patients, and the overuse of medical and technical terms to explain vital information. A lay community health advisor will focus on four major strategies for the advancement of health literacy. Limit the key points, think about what you want the people to remember and focus on those. Be specific and concrete, go through every detail. Demonstrate actions, draw pictures. Repeat and summarise the information. Use the teach back method to confirm understanding and to help people move the information into long term memory. And lastly, be positive, hopeful and empowering. Keep a positive attitude and help them all you can. I hope you found this video useful. For more information on the OnCall project and training programs, please visit the OnCall website at www.oncall.eu.